Hey guys, Super Godzilla Final Wars here, and today I am back once again with another video. Today we're going to be going over a very interesting what if. This what if, I was kind of inspired by a YouTuber who goes by the name of Go Team Godzilla. Which, by the way, you should go give her a watch. She makes really great content. Even though it's mostly reaction videos. She does do a story, I think it's called... Which is the name of this little... Little theory. And that series is called... What if... Or if Madison becomes a Godzilla. Which, it basically kind of explains the and for what happened if Madison, like, somehow absorbed some of Godzilla's powers. And she officially ends up having Godzilla's abilities, like his iconic atomic breath, his claws, spines, tail, etc. Which, only, there's currently only three episodes. But I suggest you go give give Team Go Team Godzilla a watch. She makes really really great content. <clears throat> so today we're going to be going over what if Madison becomes a Godzilla. Well, to fully go over this theory, we need to ask a few questions, and these questions are one. How would this happen? And two, how would Godzilla react to a human becoming a member of his species? If he ever finds out that Madison was originally a human. Three, how would the other kaiju react to this? Will they accept Madison as the new queen of the monsters? Or possibly... Just view her as another Titanic culture that they got to keep an eye out for. Four. Or will the transformation be permanent? Five. What would Godzilla do? Will he take Madison in as rather a student? A friend? A pop? Like, will he view Madison as rather one, a student, two, a very close friend, three, an ally, four, a possible mate, or five, a potential rival? Six. Now, Question number six is, how would a monarch react to this? Will they try to find a way to turn Madison back to normal? More, or will they just, you know, accept the fact that she is a Titanus Gojira? And finally, question seven. How would this change the events of the MonsterVerse as we know it? Now, keep in mind, folks, I'm fully aware about Toho not wanting Godzilla to be a species in the MonsterVerse. But keep in mind, this is a what if. This is a what if scenario, so in this scenario, let's just say for the sake of this video, the Godzilla species is still a thing in this what if. So this means that Dagon still exists in this universe, which, by the way, rest in peace, Dagon, you will be missed. Now, let's begin, shall we? In order to fully understand this what if, we gotta go all the way back to 2014. When Madison first met Godzilla, 
Now, keep in mind, she was only a, she was very, very young. She was just near, she was just basically a kid, basically. So, let's say that during the battle with the Mutos, let's say that some of Godzilla's power, not all of it, but some of Godzilla's power was managed to make its way to Madison. Now, of course, at first, it's just a little bit, so that's, so this means that Godzilla wouldn't fully sense Madison. But he can be able to sense a kaiju, but he just won't be able to identify the kaiju. Now, let's say that during the events of Godzilla Aftershock, which is the prequel novelization of basically Godzilla King of the Monsters, and it this clip explains what happened before the events of King of the Monsters and right after the events of Godzilla 2014, which, honestly, Monarch Legacy and Monsters should have followed the freaking comic book instead of just going on their own direction. Anyways, moving on. Madison will sense that will sense that something is wrong, but she wouldn't be able to tell what's going on. So we're gonna skip the events of Godzilla Aftershock and immediately go to the events of Godzilla King the Monsters. Now, let's go to the famous opening scene for where Madison and her mom go to Mothra's temple, and of course Mothra starts freaking out, and Emma Russell, Madison's mom, tries to use the orca in order to calm Mothra down. Madison will eventually come in and try to get her mom out of there. Now, the question is, will Mothra sense Godzilla's powers in Madison? If so, what would she do? Well, possibly one of two things could happen. Rather, one, Mothra could view Madison as a Godzilla, since Mothra and Godzilla in the MonsterVerse have a symbiotic relationship, not a romantic relationship. There's a difference between a romantic relationship and a symbiotic relationship. A symbiotic relationship basically involves one creature helping another one out with its problems. And sometimes that creature will even defend the other one from a potential predator or, or a possible rival. A romantic relationship is where two creatures form an attraction towards each other and become mates. So Mothra and Godzilla in the MonsterVerse have a symbiotic relationship, not a romantic relationship. God, these Godzilla's Mothra ships are going crazy. Anyways, so... Oh, the possible well, other th the the second most likely theory is that or a possible theory is or a scenario is that Mothra could view Madison as a person who stole Godzilla's powers and she's a threat. But since Mothra and almost every source of media 
either comic book, movie, or video game. She never goes out of her way to hurt humans unless she's provoked. Like in the earlier Godzilla movies, she would attack mankind when her fairies are kidnapped and they're calling out for help. And Mothra, just like any other animal in the monster. Now the monster versus Mothra, just like any other animal, will defend its will defend herself if absolutely necessary, even if it's humans. But most likely, Mothra will sense, will view Madison as a Godzilla. After all, Madison is within a way a mini Godzilla. So most likely, she would just immediately calm down. Now, of course, this would confuse Emma Russell, because she has no idea why Madison showing up calmed Mothra down. And so Emma Russell would be a little suspicious of her daughter. Now, since Madison doesn't interact with Godzilla until literally will have a somewhat interaction with Godzilla until literally at the end of the movie, we can say that during the Boston battle, or the battle in Boston, like, let's say, rather, Godzilla saved Madison from Ghidorah, or possibly Ghidorah dropping Godzilla from the sky, and when Godzilla slammed to the ground, out in that huge cloud of radiation, or that huge cloud headed towards Madison, Mark, and Emma, and of course all those other people, full of G-Team, we can say that Madison ends up taking more power from Godzilla, unintentionally taking more power. For me personally, I would say when Godzilla got dropped from the sky by Ghidorah, that is the most likely scenario on how Madison can get more power to get more Godzilla-like powers. So, now, the big question is, what would happen? Would Godzilla be able to sense Madison at this time? For the sake of the scenario, let's say yes. If you're wondering, how can Godzilla sense Madison? Well, obviously the monster as Godzilla does have incredible sensing abilities, but there's another way for Godzilla to be able to sense Madison besides of immediately telling where her location is. That is, in the Heisei era of Godzilla movies, in Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla, what well, two? G Force found out that that Godzilla, but in Godzilla Jr., having both G cells in their bodies, this basically meant only one thing: they can track each other over long distances and be able to tell where their location is. So even if Godzilla didn't have the monster vs. Godzilla didn't have that ability, where he didn't lose sense all the kaiju around the planet, he would still be able to sense Madison, since she has his powers, and now she has a lot more of his powers now, and he could basically officially sense her now. So, yeah. 